It's Vlogmas Day 11 and I thought today would be a good day to introduce you to my many, many Christmas teddies. Most of them are the, they're the ones with the, with the years on their feet. Ken's mum, my mother-in-law, she gets me Christmas teddy every year. So ever since she started doing that, I no longer buy myself a Christmas teddy every year because I used to do that. I let her do it, which is very nice of her. But yeah, so this one's 2018. I don't know which one the youngest is. Oh, oldest? Oldest. The youngest one I have is this one. Where is it? 2011. It's probably the first one I bought for myself. So I've had him for a while. First. Christmas study is this one. He's not one of the ones with the years on him, but I got him from my Auntie Carrie for Christmas when I was a child, and he's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. And my Christmas teddy. He's so cute. I love him. He's actually out all year round. That's how much I love this particular teddy bear. Um, but he is wearing a Christmas scarf, so he's technically a Christmas teddy. Um, I also have this one, who is new to me, but is not in fact a new bear. This is a Careflight Christmas teddy that I actually adopted from Miss Haley because she was getting rid of a bunch of her bears and you don't do that in this family so I adopted them. So I got him and I also got a bunch of the, um, this is not Christmas related but I also adopted all of her teddy bears that are like this because that's part of the teddy bear collection which was a magazine subscription that all well, wasn't a subscription but it was a magazine that you could buy I think it was monthly and they came with a different teddy bear and a different magazine about teddy bears basically which of course I was obsessed with as a child and I had a bunch of them had like I don't know like maybe 10 of them um, that my parents had got me over the over the months that that thing was happening little did I know apparently Haley had also been collecting them when she was a little girl so she gave me all of her ones when she was getting rid of her stuffed animals and I just realized this one has a little tiny map I wonder whether that came with him or whether Haley gave that to him. Anyway, that's not Christmas related. That's just the story of how I got this teddy. Which is Cat Light Christmas Bear. Isn't he cute? So he is now part of the family. I got this one. He actually dances, but he doesn't have batteries at the moment, so I can't show you. But um, I got this one for Secret Santa for Mariana at um, our Relativity Christmas party. He's very cute and he dances and he has a candy cane. Isn't he cute? I always say they're boys, but you know, some of these might be girls. You'd have to ask them. Also got these two. You probably saw the decorations on the tree. These aren't technically Christmas bears, but I got them for Christmas off Army Carrie. And I have matching um, Christmas decorations that are the same bears, which is very cute. 2012, this is Reindeer Bear. 2012, his name is Louis, or Louis, I guess, based on the spell. And he has antlers. I like him because he's got a hoodie. You know me, I love hoodies, and it does come off as well. Yeah, it's just a bear. So he's very cute. So this is Louis, so he's 2012. So he's 2012. This is 2013. He's got stripy scarf, pretty cool. He's very cuddly. They all are, but that's the thing I love the most about Christmas teddies is that they're always really soft. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Uh, this one doesn't have a year, but he's probably the biggest. Maybe it's on his tag. No, but his name is Cuddle Bear and Dog. I believe he is just a bear, but apparently he's also and dog. And he's cute. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out because he'll be the missing year. Um, look, got these two as well. 2020, so he was last year. And he's 2019, so these are definitely from. Michelle, um, my mother-in-law. Which one are you? So you're 2019. 2019. And he's got a Christmas tree on his jumper. He's very cute. And then this one is fancy. He's got a vest. He's got a vest and a bow tie. He's going to a fancy Christmas party. And he is from 2020. So 2020, let's figure it out. We have 2020. 2019. Do we have 2018? Any of you 2018? 2018 is this one with a where's Wally scarf 2020 2019 2018 do we have 2017 2017 is this one and he has Christmas sweater too I do love their Christmas sweaters they're so cute and he's so fluffy I like him so what year are you sorry 2017 2017 so we're looking for a 2016 do I hear 2016 what year are you 2011 
2012 and you're 2013, 2017. So you must be 2016. Then I don't have a 15 or a 14. What? There's no way I missed two whole years. Maybe I'm missing some bears. That's weird. It's very unlike me to be missing bears. So I'm guessing that you must be 20. So you must be 2016. So I'm missing 2015 and 20. If I don't find them at my parents' house, I shall put a call out. If anybody has a 2014 and 2015 Christmas bear, I bet they're not giving the full love and attention a teddy bear truly deserves. Uh, I might. I might be open to adopting a 2014 and 2015 Christmas teddy so just so that I have the whole collection. Um, so the only Christmas bear left that I haven't shown you yet is the specialist of the Christmas bears because he is handmade and his name is Becca and he's really cute. He's so cute. Casey made him for me for Christmas a few years ago um, but last year she actually fixed his legs because they had fallen off. Um, all of his limbs were actually quite loose because of um, the cotton she used I believe and so she fixed him last year but how cute is he he's got a little scarf a uh, little Santa hat and he's so cute look at him he's pretty cute he's very special he's one of my he's my special bear he's definitely a year-round teddy I love Christmas and I love my Christmas bears <laughs>